Thanks for joining us. So, as you guys know, I've been working on uh, this scanner right here, trying to scan in this Castle Grayskull floor, and what a pain it has been. Obviously, I didn't scan it like this, because to do the scans, you actually have to uh, teach each piece individually. Now, I did uh, um, paint them with a uh, foot powder, you have to do that in order to make it work so let me go ahead and show you my foot powder scanning mess that I have so here's my software and you can see it there and then I have the piece I'm scanning in off to the side on a turntable and then I go ahead and choose the setup making sure it's the the right piece and you guys have seen this before hey black phoenix 77 and then uh, basically I just uh, start my turntable to spin around. So let me get this all set up and I'll kind of show you guys how it worked today. Yes, this part is long and painful. Don't worry, we're not going to watch the whole entire thing. It's 144p? Dude, I'm not sure why. Check and see. Let me turn my phone sideways and see what looks that bad. Yeah, I'm not sure why yours is 144p. Mine looks pretty clear on my phone. Is anybody else having the same problem? Okay, cool. Glad you fixed it. All right, you see the turntable spinning there, and I have my uh, 3D scanner looking at it, and of course the green is the new parts, the blue is the part it already has. It has a nice little circle. And then as I do each little piece, I move it, the scanner to the next spot, and start the spinning again. I found that it works way better. Hey, Mike, thanks for joining us. Think Jinx Caliber, thanks for being here. It works way better if I uh, actually um, put it on a tripod and run it that way instead of trying to do it by hand. So, VHS quality for your young kids. If you guys are getting low quality, change it on your settings. It, sh it should be higher quality, so check it out and see. So, Pop Actor, go ahead and uh, change it out and see if you got higher quality now. So I know on mine it looks pretty good on my phone, so I'm not sure what's going on. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. So as you can see, I'm moving my setup there, then doing the next spot to scan. And like I said, it was a pretty long, tedious process. I think the scan 
both sets of floors it was like two or three hours of just slowly scanning these all different angles and trying to get it to find the spot and you know stopping it and backspacing it oh 1080p nice we'll just watch this for a few more minutes then i'll get to blender and i'll show you guys the actual objects All right. The bad part is I don't think we'll be able to take off that foot powder spray without damaging the original paint job. So it kind of stinks. So Jinx Caliber, unfortunately, your original paint is not going to be the same anymore. I'm kind of bummed out about that. But at least we can make some really cool floors for everybody else. And that's that's the main part, right? I can see ants on your floor. No, not ants. Come on, find it. I'm sitting there trying to hoping it finds the right location. You see it's red, so it's not finding it. It's freaking out. And this is why it takes so long to do this. Oh, it was painful. Anyway, let's get to the actual parts so you guys can see them. All right, so here is my blender right here. And, uh... Why is it locking up? See, it's locking up because I want to show you guys how cool Blender is. So it decides to lock up. It's not even doing anything. It's just spinning. Spinning. Not responding, but spinning. Two votes for Mechanic. I'll put you guys back on the other video while I fix my blender issue. I have to get my so you guys can watch the pain again. Open up my Taskmaster and kill Blender. Oh wait, it's gonna work. Hold on. What is going on with my machine? Ugh, ugh. I have too much stuff running today on it. I didn't do a restart before I started the video. Hey, can you guys hear me okay? Let me see if, how the sound sounds. Hear me okay? Oh, yep, I guess you guys can. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Jinx Caliber. Yeah, the static you hear is actually the fan on my... Uh, oh, the static you hear is my 3D printer in the background. It's printing the pieces that I showed you guys in the earlier video. So that is the static you're probably hearing is the 3D printer printing in the background on the floor right there. You can kind of see the green spool over, over the top of the monitor. Okay. Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen again. Okay, so here we have my Blender stuff. And um, this is the original mesh. Let's see. There it is. And this is one I was working on before that I told you guys had some errors. And you could see right here in this spot, 
it did not scan right. There's kind of an indent right here. And that caused me all my problems right there. That little spot right in there. And uh, I could not fix it. I tried everything to fix it. And you can see how it kind of doesn't work right there. And it just couldn't grab that corner. And today I found out why. It's because that one corner is so far away from the center here that when it comes around to this side, um, the scanner can see all this, but by the time the scanner gets it in view, it's way over here trying to get to that spot and it's too far away and it's out of range. So that's why I had to rescan everything. So let me go ahead and bring in those scans. So file, import, STL. Now there's still a mess right now. So let me go ahead and bring them in and then we will look at them. And I'm importing the right and the left. It's going to take a moment for it to do it. Oh, not responding again. No. It's probably because I'm trying to run a live stream on the same machine. My video software had a, a error right before that, so it's probably why it's causing me so many problems. Aren't you guys glad you tuned in to watch this blue wheel spin around? There we go. All right, so there are the parts right there. Let me click this first one here, and this one is the right side. So first thing we have to do is object, set origin, and origin to center mass or center mass volume we'll use uh, the volume what the heck and now we need to tell it to go to zero 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 for the location zero zero and zero and Hmm. I guess about as close as we're going to get. So now let's get the other side. Oh, I had them both selected. How oh, weird. Okay. Let's try this again. Object. Set origin. Choose the other one. And object set origin to volume. And then we'll set it also to zero. Sorry guys, I know it's kind of boring watching me type numbers. But once we get the parts in here in the right spot, then we can see them. Zero. Okay, cool. Let's check this out now. Let me zoom in. Erp. Okay, there's one of the parts. Where is the other one? Did it not load? Anyway, so you can see on this one, it's hollow right now. So first thing I need to do is to see if I can make it manifold. That should fill in some gaps across the bottom. Now sometimes it just vis vanishes. And if that happens, of course, then um, I'll be crying. But we'll see what it does. Let's 
It's really thinking. I probably should have deleted some stuff first before I tried to make it manifold. Yep, it's not responding again. Yeah, I think if I change Hebrew or an Afro, I think uh, um, that other uh, cosplayer would not be happy with me because that's his style that he has. He has a character um, that he made himself, which has an Afro. And uh, I think if I was to do that, people would think I was copying him at that point. But I have seen people make heroes with Afros before. Uh, there was actually a custom head made a long time ago that had that. Okay, so that didn't work the way I hoped. So let me control Z this. And let's get rid of some points on here first. Hey, Bandish, you made it. Thanks for joining us. You should make Grayskull missing weapons. That would be kind of cool. Anyway, I should probably do this when I'm not trying to live stream. It'd probably actually work a whole lot better than trying to do this during a live stream. Just because I think the live stream is taking a lot of my computer processing power. It's going to take a lot of editing. But I just wanted to show you guys how it came out looking. And you guys can kind of see how this floor came out. I'm not sure where the other one went to. But I'll have to figure out what happened to that too. But you can kind of see how the floor looks. And how that edge is much cleaner here. How we actually have thickness along here now instead of just all rough and cut up. And even the points came out for the foot pegs, which is surprising because the original one didn't have that. Like, let me show you. This right here is the right side. Let me show you the original right side mesh. Uh, let me turn off that one. So the original right side mesh, I've already done a lot of changes to it, but originally you couldn't even see those bumps that were on it. You can just already see the detail quality difference between the two. I mean, it's hugely different. Okay, I got the wrong side. It was the left side. There we go. That's the side we were looking at before. Anyway, you can see the quality difference. So it's the left side here. And the other left side. You get to see all the more detail and grain on here. A lot more detailed. This looks way smoother and not nearly as detailed. So even look at just like the wood, for instance. You can see the the pieces in the wood that he sculpted in there originally with the new scanner. And with the old scanner, it's just 
looks kind of smooth. So the rocks look more rocky and all the parts just look like they're supposed to a little more rough. Now I'm going to get rid of the pins. Sorry, man. I know you kind of wanted the foot pegs, but they'll snap off after you print them and they'll, people will be irritated because the pins will be stuck in their figure's feet. But anyway, that's where we're at right now with the scan. So I'm pretty happy with the scan, how it turned out. A lot better chance it's going to actually work out this time. So cool, cool. Be possible to make an Eternia set with that software. Well, you could, but then you'd have to make a, find a giant 3D printer, which would be pretty tough to do. So, yep. I think I already have the Eternia scan scans anyway. So, but it would be an awful lot. Don't save. So let me see. File, import, STL. I don't see the attorney playset right now. I'll have to see if I can find the objects later. That would stink if I didn't save them somewhere. All right. Cool, cool. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. snake mountain comes out you should make that floor too yes especially the second floor for snake mountain the one that goes up in the air we definitely need that because otherwise why go to the door there's nothing even attached to the door it's just either you fall in the pit or you fall off the edge it doesn't make a lot of sense Did you study for this? Uh, nope. I just, uh, trial and error. All right. Anyway, that is all I'm going to show tonight. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, I was hoping I could actually do some work while I was doing a live stream, but my computer has a hard time doing both. So I guess I'll play my outro and i will see you guys next video anyway th thanks for watching again and uh here's the outro the rubber puppet monster needs stronger material yes definitely does